Facts about the country of Algeria has been a topic that's been requested a lot more recently. Algeria is often stereotyped in various ways by the outside world, so to explore more facts and information about the country, here are 10 of the biggest lies, misconceptions, and stereotypes about Algeria. Welcome back to FTE Facts, my name is Leroy Kenton, and let's just jump into this episode. Let's go. Starting at number 10, Algeria is an oh. Arab country. This is a big one because like yes and no right like it, it, it depends on what you mean by Arab country. So if you take a look, based on the population, Algerians are a mix of Amazigh, which is Berber, more Arab, African, and French. It's like a melting pot of ethnicities and cultures right there. And then we have Berber and Arab mixed ethnicities making up the majority. So yes, Arabic is the official language in Algeria and Algerians have adopted many Arab cultural practices. However, indigenously speaking, Berber is the original ethnicity of Algeria and Berber and Arab, they're completely different ethnicities, not the same at all. So in that sense, it is not an Arab country. Berbers are not Arabs, period. So yeah, this one always sparks a lot of conversation and differences of opinions. So if you're from Algeria, let me know your thoughts about that below in the comment section. Next up at number nine, we have women are fully oppressed. So women in Algeria, Let's just look at the facts, right? They make up 60% of the entire student population. So they're educated, they're well-educated. Not like they can't go to school or are restricted from getting an education. They also are very prominent in society. And get this, 70% of Algeria's lawyers as well as 60% of its judges are female. And Algerian women make a decent amount of money. Like they actually really contribute to their household income every single year. So to say that these women are oppressed because they live in Algeria is a total lie. It's not even close to the truth. Now, speaking of women in Algeria, there's another misconception, lie, and stereotype out there. All of the women are witches. Yeah, believe it or not, that belief actually exists. Algerian women and even other North African women, they suffer from the stigma of witchcraft, right? So yes, you'll find the practice of witchcraft done in the country, but normally when people refer to women calling them witches, it's usually used as a derogatory slur. To be honest, I actually don't know where this one stemmed from, but I guess, you know, witchcraft is frowned upon. So like, if you are a witch, it's like, oh my God, you're probably like the worst type of woman. So I don't know, maybe that one stems from cultural practices and just different stereotypes from other nations have come in over time, but just had to go on record to say all Algerian women, they're not witches. Okay, now let's talk about the men in Algeria. Another lie is all men marry women for visas. Based on the website for the US Embassy in Algeria, yes, some Algerians do make friends with American citizens through dating and social media websites, and these relationships sometimes lead to engagement and even marriage. But this stereotype about Algerian men has really, of course, been perpetuated by reality TV shows like 90 Day Fiance. That shows really popular, but this is not even close to making up the majority of how Algerian men approach a long-term relationship. So, you know, that right there, saying it as a blanket statement about all Algerian men, it's just a big fat lie. Now the lie at number six is all Algerians speak French. Now this one is due to the popular fact that the French had colonized Algeria at one point in their history. But although the French education system is a very common thing throughout the upper class, they only make up a small percentage of the entire population of Algeria and not the majority at all. Algeria is probably one of the largest francophone countries in the entire world, but the official languages are Arabic and Berber. French doesn't even hold any official status. Yes, a whole lot of Algerians speak French. 100%, but definitely not all of them. Now with that said, we made it to the halfway mark in this episode. If you guys are enjoying it so far, be sure to leave a like on this video. Leaving a thumbs up on our videos really is helping a lot more people to see it, and it also shows your support for the channel. Now if this is your first time here at FTD Facts, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. Like I've said it before in many other episodes, we're on our road to 1 million subscribers. So join the family, join the ride, as well as come back every single day because we post daily episodes where we talk about countries, cultures, religion, and people. So if any of those topics 
topics interest you, stay well, hang out with us here on FTD Facts to keep on learning, especially during this time of self-isolation, AKA quarantine. Honestly, I gotta give tons of love to all of the Algerians that have started to tune into the channel. Oh my God, like we did the video about Algeria and I had no idea that so many people were gonna start watching it. So welcome, I'm sending you love from Canada. And from there, let's jump into the last five lies that I gotta share in this episode. The lie at number five is Algerians are white people. All right, so let me break this one down for you. See, Algerians are as diverse of a population as like you could even imagine. So of course, white people or like people that can pass as white in Algeria do exist, but there are also black Algerians and also Algerians of all shades. Also, the definition of whiteness in America has led to some confusion of who is considered a white person. So check this, under the US Census definition and the United States Federal Agency, people with ancestries from North Africa are considered white. Also, the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission regulations also define white as original peoples of Europe, North Africa, or the Middle East. Now on top of that, many non-dark-skinned Algerians aren't even viewed as being African by foreigners since for many people, only black Africans come to mind when the term African is used. But yeah, when it comes to being white, you ask Algerians and the usual response would be that having fairer skin doesn't mean that they would classify themselves as being white people. Moving on to number four, all Algerians are Muslim. Okay, yeah, so pretty much the entire population of Algeria is Muslim. Specifically, they follow the Sunni Islam school of thought. But you know, the area once had a large Jewish population. Jews actually date back before Islam was introduced. Some Jews descended from immigrants from Palestine at the time of the Romans. Now, Christianity, it came to North Africa in the Roman era, and then it was reintroduced once again after the French conquest of Algeria. So you'll find a very tiny amount of Jews still there in Algeria right now and also a Christian population in larger numbers than the Jewish population. Still nowhere close to the amount of Muslims in the country right now. But no, not every single person because they're from Algeria is a Muslim. There's other minority faiths that exist there that I didn't even mention in this episode. But we got three more to go at line number three. Algeria is in the Middle East. Oh my lord. Lord, 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 lord. How much more plain does somebody have to make this. So of course there is a distinct difference in sub-Saharan African cultures and North African cultures of the continent of Africa. Now Algeria though in a modern sense is considered part of the Greater Middle East or the New Middle East. Now it's tied in with the Arab Middle East through the religion of Islam, sure, and it also has some shared history with other Middle Eastern nations. But despite these ties to the Middle East, like what people know as the Middle East, when you look on the map, Algeria is in the continent of Africa and not even close, not even close to the Middle East, like Egypt. It's like way over to the West. Maybe these terms, Greater Middle East or the New Middle East are gonna become more popular and then the Middle East is gonna shift somehow, but currently, as it stands, Algeria is in Africa. Number two, it's not safe. Actually, many people have reported traveling to Algeria and feeling very safe in its cities, often feeling even safer than places in Europe and the United States. Algerians are also said to be some of the most friendliest people that you will ever meet. And you know, that point right there actually ties into number one, the biggest lie, Algerians Whoa. are terrorists. And you know, this misconception and stereotype and lie really stems from the 90s when Algerians were stereotyped as terrorists. But that's not a common thing that you're gonna find in the cities. Possibly some extremist activity on the outskirts of Algeria bordering other countries. But for the most part, no, they're great people in Algeria. Definitely, Algeria hasn't had the easiest of histories. You know, they really had to fight for their independence. So there's a lot that goes into that. I'm not gonna get into that right now. But I mean, even on a different note, like just reading some of the comments on our videos lately, Algerians, they're very proud of their nation. And honestly, what I'm seeing is a whole lot more love. That's from me and from many other people 
as well. But either way, guys, those were 10 of the biggest lies, stereotypes, and misconceptions about Algeria. I definitely want to hear your thoughts and comments down below. Join in on the conversation. My social media links are below in the video description as well. And be sure to check out the video that I'm going to leave for you at the end screen. I highly recommend you watch it if you enjoyed this one as well. That's it for me, guys. I'll see you in the next episode.